Good morning, everybody. How are you? Uh, so anybody on the East Coast, you better be tuning in because I know you're all snowed in. <laughs> so um, anyhow, so oh, my hair is out of place. There you go. Uh, anyhow, happy Thursday. And today I thought we would talk about boundaries, setting boundaries, looking at your boundaries, all of those things that we're not honoring in ourselves and how do we do that and how do we find that courage to say no um, but not really upset everybody in our lives. <laughs> so good morning Claudia, you're here, yay, yay. So um, anyhow, grab your cup. Does everybody have their cup? Everybody ready? Good morning, Keely. So as you know, we're going to talk about boundaries. And one of the first things to do, I mean, what's really great is we're, we're in February. So we're still in the beginning part. Good morning, Brownie. We're still in the beginning part of the year. So this is a great time to do this. So the first thing you kind of want to do is reflect look back at your last year okay look back at 2016 and try to take note as to how you felt when was when were you feeling drained when were you feeling that you weren't honoring boundaries when did you feel that you were taking advantage of in what area of your life was that was that a personal relationship was that your job was that your health so look at all the, uh, oh, thank you, Jesse. <laughs> you know, I like it. You know, uh, real quick, I'll tell you guys. Uh, I told a class this once. So sometimes if you notice, the length of my wing eyeliner will be, sometimes it's a little shorter, sometimes it's a little longer, and sometimes it's a little thicker. You may think that there's a master plan behind that, but there actually isn't. What happens is, uh, sometimes I make mistakes, so I have to even it out, and then I have to even it out. So when it's super thick and super long, it's probably because I had a tough day putting it on. <laughs> That's a little secret between you and me. Um, so getting back to your boundaries, look at your last year, review the instances in your life where you really didn't feel like you were upholding your boundaries, okay? And then you have to look at where did you not feel right? Where did it not feel good? And if you could have done it differently, how would you have done it differently? And the boundaries, you know, you guys, they apply to all areas of your life. You know, love, work, uh, money, again, your career, your children or your spouse, your family, all of those things and say how do I want to do it different now the biggest part of boundaries is learning the word no right so if you do have kids think back to that two-year-old they really are great at no no so <laughs> no so that's the word you want to learn no and if a friend is asking you to move and you're really busy and you can't do it and you really want to be there for your friend, but you can't, you, you, you know, learning to say no, because what's happening is we over exhaust ourselves. We're saying, um, get, grabbing my coffee. We're saying yes to things that we really don't want to say yes to. And then we're feeling tired or feeling depleted. We feel guilty. We feel it doesn't feel right. So listening to your inner compass. Okay. That compass, your intuition, your guide, your gut, listen to that. If it's not feeling right, just say no um, and honor that and be okay with that. And, you know, you some people are going to be upset about it. You know, it is. It, people are going to be upset about it. And they're going to be mad at you, especially if they're so used to you saying yes all the time. If they're really used to you saying yes, yes, yes then you say no is going to be a bit of a shock to them. But they'll get used to it. They'll get used to it. You keep saying no and they'll get used to it, okay? So don't worry about that. You know, just honor yourself because we have to keep ourselves healthy and happy. And, you know, life is too short for us to just be people pleasers all of the time, you know? And 
and, and it is about the more you practice it, the more comfortable it becomes, the more it becomes you. you. That inner voice becomes that outside voice, you know? Yeah, Angela, I mean, we all need to learn how to say no. I've gotten really good at it over the last couple years. Oh, thanks for sharing the um, video. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I say I will get back to you on that. Oh, that's good, Suzanne. See, that's a great, that's a great way to do it, right? Oh, I'll get back to you. My least favorite, though, the one thing, I'll tell you what, this really, I asked someone to um, be on my, my radio show, and she replied back, oh, yeah, let me check my schedule. Okay, that is so L.A. and so superficial. I mean, that is just, you know, I mean, if you're a friend with someone, don't tell them you got to check your schedule. You, you, who are you? right? Be authentic. Just say, you know what? I, I don't know. Let me look. I'll let you know. Or, you know, would love to. Let me check it out. Um, thank you so much. Anything like that, you know? So we don't want to be better than, you know, we don't want to be, uh, um, that word. What's that word I'm looking for? Um, uh, I feel like it starts with a P pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get excited when you remember the words, but you know what I mean? We, you just, you know, if, especially if it's your friend, you still want to be that friend. You don't want to be a jerk to your friend, but you do want to exercise no when you need to say no, you know, just, I'm not feeling great or re really love to. Yeah. See, Suzanne, you got it. <laughs> but really, if you can be honest, that is the key. It's about being honest and with yourself and then having the courage to be honest with those around you and setting those boundaries kind of releases that gives you a sense of freedom makes you feel better makes you feel stronger okay uh and and it allows you to live in your truth and if you're at work i mean work is a big one i i always felt that my boundaries had always been tested at my old job in tax accounting. Now, certainly you can imagine they get tested in the, uh, in this work <laughs> between clients and students and peers. And we're, you know, that is the goal of spirit to say, let's push you. Let's see what you want. We can, you know, when you're of service, you can easily, um, have trouble living your truth and, and upholding your boundaries. But the more you can do it, the better. Um, but at work, especially if you kind of have like a, a, a nine to five job, you know, an office job, I think they are notorious for dumping more on you, dumping more on you, dumping more on you. You, you know what I mean? Dumping on you like crazy. Oh, can you handle this? Or do you mind taking that one call? Or do you mind? Because they're not paying attention to what they're giving you. They're just knowing you take care of it. They're knowing you're going to say yes. Yeah. So they're Everybody's always going to go to the yes person before they go to someone they don't know who is going to say yes. So don't, you, you know, so don't always be that yes person because if you are, you're going to be more of it. You're just going to pull in more of it because they know you're not going to say no, right? Um, and, and, and Brian lives by our calendar. You know, Brian, maybe take a day off for you, like a day off where absolutely nothing. It is a no, I'm not doing it. You know, maybe just try to do that for you because, you know, we all can get stretched a little thin and, you know, when you're stretched thin, you also, you know, don't feel as happy and you start to get sick more often and you start to feel like, what's, what's the point? Am I having any fun? So anyhow, I think I'm going to do a longer live stream on this with actual steps that you can take and I think I'm going to try to do that Tuesday but keep an eye on the professional Facebook page I'll post it it's going to be free but we're going to go step by step literally what you can do things you can do to kind of make this 2017 a lot better a lot stronger a lot more honoring your boundaries upholding them and making those changes we need to make because this is about this is about us having joy in this physical realm and we can still bring joy to others. We can still be there for others, um, but we can also uphold our boundaries and, and have our own sense of fulfillment while doing it, okay? So thank you for joining me this morning. Oh my goodness, tomorrow is Friday. Um, 
Gosh, I can't believe it's Friday already. Hope you guys are ready. Just get through today. Uh, you know, hopefully this cheered you up. You have a little daily dose of uh, inspiration here with me. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for uh, having your coffee with me. I really do love it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Talk to you later. Oh, thanks, Julie. Love you too. Bye.